tight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Yes, James. Wow. Uh, man, I'm getting back into it here. I'm back at it like a crack addict. What do you mean? Liquid IV today. I'm drinking liquid IV this morning. Trying Have to rehydrate to. after the weekend. I went so impossibly hard over the weekend that I need to hydrate my body. Therefore, I lined it up on the desk today. I said, hey, I don't really care. Um, I'm, I, it's usually in the, in the kitchen here of the office. Now I'm just like, I'm just going to put it on the desk because I'm putting it in my cup every day. So I don't care. You have it on your show, right? I do. We good, have it on Broettes. Good for you. What's that promo Enter code? Enter promo code Broettes at checkout for 25% there off. There you go. Um, Liquid IV. They don't sponsor this show. I don't know why. They don't, don't why. but they will. Yeah. Because... I mean, we have so much product. We're I drink it every day. Every giveaways single day. Yeah. Yeah. for reviews. Yeah. We have it all over the office. Yep. Liquid IV. Because what happened was, is over the weekend, we talked about this. I went so hard. I wonder if anybody else does it like we do. What do you mean? You and I will take a full weekend and just say, hey, dude, let's go all in like p pizzas, beers, like candy you name it, like for a full entire weekend where it's just like, we're, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, and it shows. <laughs> we have a couple of puffy days after, but nothing. Mondays. Nothing. Uh, Mondays, like, we look like dumpster, dumpster people. Yeah. And then Tuesdays, it starts to kick back in where it's like, all right, sweet. I went back to the gym. I lost that six pounds from over the weekend and right. uh, drinking liquid IV. Just you know what I'm saying? another puffy Monday. Monday. Well, we got, a, we got a big one, baby. We got a big one today, James. Do we? Yes, you know what's going on today, don't you? Ooh. Fake Dan is already laughing at this because uh, he knows what's going to happen. Oh, it's Giorgio. What's, what's your story? Uh, I'm, I'm laughing too. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, you know what it is, kids. I'm just laughing because I know how pumped up Giorgio is for this. Oh, uh, and Giorgio's juiced about this. He couldn't get sleep last night. No, he He's is. So pumped. He is Jose Canseco from uh, late '80s, early '90s. He is juiced on this. We got another Apple event, baby. Somebody strike up the Harlem Shake. And there's one more thing, James. We got one more thing, baby. We're going to give you more battery life. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> Until I can put my penis in the side of a MacBook Pro, I don't care. However, you know on this show, and I've been saying it for a while, once the new book dropped and came out and all those files were off my computer, which is out everywhere right now, as the sun rises, it dawns on him. You can pre-order it now. It comes out December 8th. It is everywhere. Putting out paperback the same day as hardback. Came in at number one last week, baby. Um, now that I'm done with that, I am all done. I can throw this away. I can burn this. This was a, a great computer um, from 2000. I think it's 2012. Giorgio, you, you know every Apple product ever made. Is this a, is this a 2012? Do you need to smell Jesus it? Jesus Christ, man. What are you oh, doing? Sorry, sorry, I'm on a little delay. Yeah. Uh, you're, on a, you're on a little <laughs> delay. I'm listening to the YouTube guys trying to talk in this chat. I, I, no, I understand. What, what year is this computer, Giorgio? Uh, yeah, that's definitely a 2012 15.4-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Mm. Um, great, great, great. Yeah. So uh, either way, I think my mama might have gotten this for me for, for like a Christmas gift one year. Oh, yeah. I, here's the thing. So I use and keep old computers I have forever just because I like the consistency and the keys of it, right? I'm an idiot. I am a real dummy. I am a piece of trash, garbage human who uses like three things on my computer, right? Sure. I use Microsoft Word for writing books. I use Final Draft for writing scripts. And then occasionally the internet, but that's about it, right? Uh, other than that, I store like rough cuts of movies on here that I've worked on. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much all I use a computer for, right? And then the basics, like you ESPN. Use it, you use it as a hard drive, which yeah, 
because I don't want to. I don't want to plug in. Yeah. Here's the deal. And everybody says, "Oh, just use an external. That'll be fun. <laughs> use an external hard drive. That'll be super easy." I, when we moved houses from from North Carolina to Texas, I had no lie, twenty three external hard drives that were in a pile, uh, as if I was trying to recreate the robot from Short Circuit. Like I don't know what all of these things are. I went through all of them, mindless stuff on there, just rough cuts of movies and things that you know are useless. All of it useless like tax info or things from like a house or something like that. And I was like, oh, let me use that external hard drive. Do you have a hard drive? We're gonna put it on a hard drive. Let's put it on a hard drive. 93 of these things. I, I like, I don't know what to do with them. Uh, I put them in a, in a sack like I was Santa, the Santa of hard drives and just shook them around. And they're, they're somewhere Ooh, in the back of my truck still. That. Yeah, no, it didn't matter. They're I hard drives. They're solid state. Okay. They are, yeah, they're oh. solid state. Uh, my, now my mental state is in a soft state, Shush. but my, my hard drives are in a solid state, baby. Um, but the rest of it completely mindless. Therefore I want a computer that has 80 terabytes on it. That's it. I, I don't want to plug anything else into it. Uh, this one still has a, a, an insert for CDs. Oh my God. Ooh. Yeah, you want a DVD? You want to put a Blu-ray in tonight? Ross, keep that. That's going to come in handy in the Thunderdome because uh, no one has DVD players anymore. Right? So I, one would think. So I, I have this, and I'll keep it stored away, but uh, another Apple event, and there's one more thing. So I... God, Giorgio's talked me into, like, this is going to be the greatest one ever. It's not. I'll be completely disappointed, but I need a new computer, and Trust I'm going to buy Papa it. G. I'm going to buy it. You know what I want out of this, this goddamn thing, to be honest with you? All I want is it to be as basic as my iPhone. Just make it the apps where I can just push the button and like a dumb monkey that I am and just push my things in. Great. Instagram. Can well, I just this, use Instagram on my is the goddamn first phase computer? Of that. When they make their own processors and then eventually they're combined the mm -hmm. iOS and the Mac OS together right. as one thing. And then you shouldn't be able to touch everything. Everything will look the same. It'll all run the same. Well, I, we're I, on the way. It, we're, we're getting there. Well, yeah, yeah. We're always on the way with Apple, and that's the problem, right? Um, the product won't be perfect until they can't squeeze one more fucking dime out of your soul. Um, where it's like, ah, oh, it's going to be missing something. What was the, the new phones? Guess what? No chargers anymore. We're worried about the environment. We want you to buy this pad that you drop it on and you can recharge it and, and all this other shit. No, you didn't. You don't give a fuck about the environment. Tim Cook, you slut. You don't give a shit about it. All you care about is that somebody has to buy a new fucking charger from Apple. Same with those goddamn dongles. When I clean out the old house, you know how many of those shitty dongles I found uh, from the, 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 the next iteration of iPhone? Oh, do you have one? I found like, yes, yeah, 70 of those goddamn things. Those little <laughs> rat-tailed dicks is what they look like, little rat dicks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just plug, plug this in, and all was... you need to do is plug your other charger in to get to this other charger in the third one. It's like plugging in Christmas tree lights from the 1950s. Um, we're using like 90 fucking outlets to, to plug in a goddamn iPhone. So no, Giorgio, today is going to be a, a beautiful disaster the same way as every other fucking Apple event. And it's going to be a bunch of people online jacking each other off because there's a new health app where if I put my hand to the screen like it's like I'm fucking Liv Tyler in Armageddon, it's going to tell me that I'm going to have fucking pancreatic cancer when I'm 78 years old. Well, they did just add an O2 meter. To the new uh, oh, <laughs> God, oxygen. And yeah, I'm, I'm contractually obligated to tell you how awesome the power mat is that when you just drop things down on it, they nope. charge. <laughs> Not awesome at all. You know why? Because I got kids. So if I had a power mat in my house, it'd be full of fucking apple juice. It'd be full of mots. It'd be a bunch of mots all over Could it. Would that be apple squared? I, who knows, man? Apple on apple, but it's like, oh, cool. Apple on apple crime? Like, unless I get this goddamn thing today, like, unless Tim Cook comes out today and he's just like, oh, now here's what you do. Because of COVID, you just put your whole fucking face in it, take a huge breath in, and then, oh, my God, we can see if you've got the fucking antibodies. Like, that's, that's the only thing that's going to shock and awe my mind today. I think you're allowed to wear it as a mask. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would in public if it if it if we did that. That's the next iteration of Apple. All you have to do is wear this glass tube over your head. All the apps are inside there, and then your mind races around like a fucking meth head in Florida uh, the the night before spring break, where you're like, oh god, look at all these cars coming in. How much change can I steal out of the fucking center console? Like that's next. 
That's all. So today, no, I, well, I'm not getting anything special, but I'm going to buy this goddamn computer and it'll be on this show. And then I'll tell you what a piece of shit it is in a month, right? Probably in a month. Same with this fucking phone. I don't have it anywhere near me because it doesn't matter. Uh, that $1,500 piece of shit phone still doesn't work. I can't even get the goddamn calendar to work. I use that for four things. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, email. I'm sorry, five things in the calendar. Calendar, completely blank. Doesn't work. One fucking app, and it's Apple's app. It's the calendar. I can't even tell you what fucking day it is today. I had to get license plates at the DMV, and uh, I was writing the check on the way out, and I was like, what day is it? Um, and she was like, well, your phone's right there. You know, She was like, do you want to look on your phone? And I go, no, the calendar doesn't work because Apple's fucking awesome. How is that possible? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, do we, I'll tell you what. Go to Jesse's single real quick. I'll pull this fucker up. Dan, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say they're gonna they're gonna pull the switch where it makes all their old products worse. Oh yeah, but don't they have that? They somewhere? do that every don't every time. Don't they have that yeah. weird yeah, magical yeah, yeah, yeah. switch? Yes, yes, yes. Because my phone's been fucking up. Yeah, yeah we're just trying to save your battery. Phone, yes, your old phones. You got to make it through a few it's generations. Like, if you if you battle through it, yeah. for a few years. They get to the point where the models no longer are susceptible to that switch. Yeah, they don't care about them yeah. anymore. Yeah, they don't. Right? They don't give a shit about it anymore. I think I'm on that level. I uh, yeah, and, and so with with mine, um, I'm gonna pop this up for you here. Uh, don't mind the text messages; it's real. At least all the nooners who were here were like, "Holy shit!" So I have 470 unanswered text messages. Nothing I can do about that, and I apologize to whoever that is. And uh, I'm not going back anymore. I'm not going back through that. So if I missed you, I missed you. Uh, know that I love you, and hopefully you watch the show every day and you subscribe. Hopefully you go to iTunes and rate the show a five-star and leave a review. It's not the millions of listeners. It's those goddamn reviews. We're at iTunes. We got one more thing to fuck you with. Are you listening to our shows? Only rated on this app or you won't enter the charts. So here's the calendar, right? Top two. Text messages, calendar. Boom. Just going to open it up right there. No invitations, can't get anywhere on this screen. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can't go side to side, can't go okay, anywhere. Okay, okay, hang on. Let's not say KKK too much on that. Oh, sorry, 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 Oh, I got nothing boy. on this thing. Huh, yeah. It's a piece of trash. Uh, this, I, don't, I don't even know why I have it. Does it get onto my bookie? Uh, yes, but I have to go in through the thing. Like, uh, so yeah, I, I have to go in through the internet. Bullshit. Safari. Yeah, so yeah I've got to go in through Safari. I'm still using Safari like it's, what was the, the very first one in 1998? What, what, what was that? Internet Explorer. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably still on that. $1,500. Thanks, Tim Cook, you fucking dick. And you might ask yourself, why'd you pay for that? This one's got 500 megs because of the production shit. So like all the videos and all this stuff, all I needed for the storage, I got, I got nothing else on here except for like five apps. Like I'm, the, I'm the, the, the least tech person on the planet, not that that's a huge surprise to anyone, um, but for me to get a new phone, like to pay that much money, can the fucking calendar work? Just the calendar, that's all I'm asking for. Nope, but we got one more thing. We can fucking, it's going to be a breathalyzer. Oh, 1.9. Don't drive your car. Uh, I couldn't tell you what, what day I couldn't drive my car on, though. So you're going to see that new computer on the desk and uh, just know I'm going to hate it, probably. Uh, I'm going to hate every single second of that whole process and everything else. Uh, Giorgio is going to be watching online today for the, the Apple events. He's going to tell me all of these things that this computer can do that I will never use in my entire life. And the only thing I'll ask him is one question. How much fucking storage does it have? Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it, kids. But uh, I'm, I'm expecting some type of full court press from some celebrity today. You know? On Apple? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm expecting a new president thing, you know, today of like, oh, we got a new president and we got some new app, you know. It's the Kamala app. Right. It's the Mamala app where you can just turn the computer around. She'll watch your kids because she's so fucking relatable. Turn the computer around. Look at that. She's the kids are on the floor. Mom. It's the Mamala app. She's <laughs> just a mom. Uh, yeah, and every time you, you press it, you press the screen. It's just a, a laugh. 
like a fucking crazy hyena that is off off the charts where it's <laughs> yeah 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 it's that socialism laugh that AOC gives and Kamala gives where you're just like <laughs> we're gonna take all your shit we're gonna take all your fucking shit isn't it crazy so <laughs> expect something like that today other otherwise you know fuck I'll see you later uh, I'll buy it and you're gonna see that on here you're gonna see that new computer and I'm gonna Harlem shake it. Now, if I get the new computer and there's a new U2 album on there, I'm all in. Oh, yeah. there you go. Uh, just, just, just give me a remastered version of Joshua Tree, and I'm fine with that, you know? In the name of love, like give me an Aku version that I've never heard before. Ooh. Yeah, from Ireland, before Bono started stealing money through his charities. Yeah. Yeah, before he Bono. started telling all the kids of Africa that there's no Christmas because they're poor. Yeah, they're like, hey, real quick, Bono? Yeah. We're fine. So drop that song. We know it's Christmas. We're not a fucking idiot. We're in the holiday spirit. Drop that song. What's that U2 song? Do they know it's Christmas? Do they, they know, know it's, it's Christmas, Christmas after, after all? They're, they're so poor. Yeah. They don't know it's there's Christmas. There's so much rain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're so yeah. dumb. Yeah. What? <laughs> we just got flagged. Is that real? Oh, because, yeah, because it was recording quality. Recording quality. Do they know it's green? Here's your white Santa, Africa. This is the one that the rest of the world uses. And we're your white saviors. We're you two. Yep. We're here to, to help you get water and a school and uh, learn all of our music. And then we'll set all that up for you with no infrastructure or anything. And we'll peace out yes. and leave you to... Go back to the same poverty you were in before. And in Until, the meantime, yeah, yeah. That, all that money will go to an LLC set up in an <laughs> Irish bank. The same one that Facebook uses and Apple uses to avoid all the taxes in America. Mm. Fucking A. I think they got like three trillion in that account. Something yeah, like probably. that. Probably. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, it's, it's enough for Bono's eyewear collection. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Man, I, would, I, I, I will say this. That's the level I want to get to one day where I can just wear sunglasses all day long and oh. everybody kind of expects it where they're like, oh, yeah, he's not a dickhead. He's just Bono. He's just Ross. You, know? you can start it now, but it has to be a no. specific no. type of sunglass, right? No. Nope. And then people need to associate mm -mm. you with that. It's just it's, it's so hard to pick that one There's an style. Age. There's an age. And I think it starts at, at, uh, at 55. 55 years old uh, if you're you under 55 Orbison, yeah yeah well he's blind jesse jesus christ no he's not yes roy orbison was blind he was legally blind uh that's I mean, weird jesse jesus no he had christ. stage fright he had state no he's blind no roy stevie wonder had stage fright. yeah stevie wonder had, he's had not stage fright blind. no he can see no. shapes stevie can see Dan. shapes Shut the fuck up. Can we get a fact check there on Roy Orbison <laughs> blind? Uh, I think he's fucking blind, dude. Jesse, you're, did you just say the guy was wearing sunglasses? Because he had stage fright. That's why blind. he started wearing them. No, Roy Orbison was not blind. He was not blind. He was not blind. He just had stage fright. Okay, so that's real. All right. Well, I was wrong. He began Did I just wearing somebody blind? dark glasses in 1963 before the British tour with the Beatles. So I think he was just trying oh, to be as cool as the Beatles. All right, all right, all right. So I just, I just outed somebody as a blind who wasn't blind, and I think he's dead. Dan is right. Did that I just Stevie turn a blind? Wonder I just turned a color. Yeah, no. he can see shapes and colors. Yeah, Everybody so knows Stevie blind. can see. Um, when I did that interview with Duran Duran, you were there on the tour bus, yeah. and uh, remember I asked the guy was a dick, and I was just like, um, "Go back and listen to that Duran Duran interview I did. Uh, was it?" Three years ago, two years ago? He was not Whatever it was for this excited. show. And so finally, I just dropped the hammer on him. I was like, so you played with Stevie Wonder in 2002. How was that? Oh, it was great. Stevie was great. You know Stevie isn't blind and he can see shapes, right? But I was taking pictures in the bus <laughs> and you, I think, pointed to me and said, she thinks blah, blah, blah. And he's like, Ugh. So you could kind of like be like this dummy, yeah. but still ask the question. <laughs> Dan, I'm sorry I told you to shut the fuck up. Yeah, Roy Orbison died in 88. He died uh, before I was born. Roy Orbison died in 88, yeah. So look, I here's what I love to he do. He died before you were born. With heroes, is I like to give them a fake uh, disability sure. that they don't have after that's, they die 30 years later. That's fun. So Roy Orbison is blind now. Yeah. I'm right now, assholes. He can't see anything now. 
<laughs> so you can chalk that up as a ding in the win column for uh, the big guy, the ones and twos. Yeah. Roy Orbison, currently blind, also a paraplegic, can't walk either, uh, has no use of his arms. Kenny Rogers had a club foot. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little too soon. Rogers! Oh. Rogers! Why isn't Miller High Life a sponsor, man? I, I, can, I can see myself kicking back with Kenny in those days, drinking some Miller High Lifes, you know? Just getting into it. Uh, hammer the like button on YouTube, by the way. We're going to beat this uh, algorithm. Even our advert, like uh, our head of creative marketing, Araceli's like, you know, I don't get notifications and I'm subscribed to your channel. And I, was I like, know. No, I know. Because they hate us and uh, they don't want the truth to get out there. That Roy Orbison was blind. Uh, still is, assholes. Roy Orbison, blind guy. Um, you know, they don't, want, they don't want people out in the world like me who are just spreading the truth. Right. You know? Right. Elvis had no anus. <laughs> Fun fact. He had to shit in a bag through a hole that they drilled in the side of his hip. Dead. <sighs> Dad, there's no way to prove it. Why wouldn't they there's just no make a it. hole where the butthole would be? Maybe he was using it for something else. Why did it have to be on the hip? Maybe he wanted to sit down more comfortably. Imagine if you're if you didn't have that crack in your ass or the hole, it'd be a lot more comfortable to sit down. You know? Oh, just like a big pillow? Yeah, just like a big fun pillow. So maybe Elvis was like that where he was just like, "Oh man, wouldn't it be great to just have an asshole on the side of my leg?" <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> How was that Elvis off yeah, the cuff Yeah, I didn't today? know you had an Elvis didn't, I, I never uh, have had one, by the way. Um, never have had one it until was, right now. I mean, I knew... Out of 10. Let's hear it go. I would say it's probably a six, but with okay. literally L one day of work, it sure. could be an 11. I think so. I think so, too. It could be an 11. I'm going to workshop that. I'm going to go back to Santa's workshop on that mm -hmm. and uh, see what I can do. Speaking of Santa... Uh, I saw the trailer for the new Mel Gibson Santa movie, um, Fat Man, which we talked about briefly on this show, right? right. I had an extended trailer that was out yesterday. Um, the reviews are out as of this morning. Uh, they are saying it is the worst movie ever made and that Mel Gibson should be ashamed that he ever attempted to play Santa. Now, I think that's a little much. That's a lot. I mean, I saw Battlefield Earth in the theater. Yes, yes. There was no Santa in that uh, because that's just Scientology. Saying, like, I'm just saying if we're going to talk about the worst movie well, ever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, either way, um, uh, he's in it. He is, uh, look, he's obviously Christian. <laughs> Nailed yeah. it. Blammo. Um, but uh, they're saying they gave it a one star and they were like, it is a goddamn mess. It is also a hard R. Going to be real. I kind of piqued my interest. I didn't know it was a hard R. Now that I know Mel Gibson's a hard R Santa, I'm all in. I'll is give he, Gibson a shot, dude. He's all he, kinds of hard R. Yeah, he is. Is he playing like Santa or a Santa. guy? Okay. Santa. So the premise is he lives in this town in like Maine and everybody knows him. But of course, you know, Hollywood, right? They got to they got to put some jab in there for the government. The government fucked up Santa and they took away his subsidies. <laughs> yep, the government uh, took away Santa's subsidies and mm -hmm, that he was mm -hmm. delivering too much coal, not enough gifts. So apparently they're treating Santa like the uh, United States Postal Service. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining this had to do something with the, the mail-in votes or something, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. So they cut his subsidies, so now he's got to figure it out. But I guess he gets drunk all day at this local pub and all this shit. Um, I saw, the, the image I saw was he wasn't wearing clothes. So uh, uh, I'm all uh, in on uh. drunk Mel Gibson Santa, and uh, I, I'm, I'm amped for it. It's called Fat Man. Fat man. So okay, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be in theaters first, and then move to an online outlet. I'm not sure which one that is, but uh, right around the Thanksgiving time, so uh, we can sit around the uh, fireplace and uh, watch Santa when the children's good. Or Fat Man when the children go to sleep, and then uh, enjoy ourselves. I love that. Yeah, I'm in for that. I'm in for that. I'm in for that. But we also need to watch yeah, no, Russell. Yeah. yeah. Kurt Russell's coming back with another Santa movie. Sorry. That's the problem I have with that. So, like, when you say that's the worst Santa movie of all time, have you watched the fucking Hallmark Channel? Right. 90 goddamn Santa movies on there. I know, but they're all brilliant. 
they're terrible. All of them are amazing. They shoot it in two weeks and that's it. They're all, they're all done there. You know? It's impressive. Uh, it, it is, but it's all in like one set, you know? Right. Um, so, shit. Try doing range 15 in two weeks. That was fucking hard. Yeah. 90 locations and all that shit. They're just doing it on one set in like Toronto or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I, you know, Richard Real actually, he's been Santa, what, nine times, I think he oh said, on the show? Oh my gosh, he's the best Santa. He's a good Santa, yeah. He's a good Santa. He's the best. We mm -hmm. love Richard Real. Big fan. Uh, big fan. Everybody's saying happy birthday, Marines. Today is uh, the day. Oh, that's the... right. Happy birthday, kids. I uh, hope if you're out there watching with us, uh, fuck yeah, dude. America, fuck yeah. I'm coming to save the motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the Apple event uh, is going on today. Um, uh, the new Xbox is out. You guys are setting up a, a Twitch, correct? Yeah, if you're in the comments right there and want to play mm -hmm. games with us, uh, tell us you want to play us on Xbox or PS5. We're going to get one for the office and game with you guys. Correct. Well. And what's the what's the name of our Twitch channel? Is it Drinking Bros? Drinking Bros Podcast. Drinking Bros Podcast. You'll be able to go against uh, Fake Dan and Giorgio. What are your skills like, Fake Dan? I can. I already know, Giorgio. You're kind of a a, a nerd. Yeah, if, yeah. Like you're a. I'm a huge and I don't nerd. say that in a bad way. Like, I'm but a you know everything nerd. about tech and gaming and all that stuff. I still play Magic: The Gathering as a 30 year old man. Do you really? <laughs> I do. Competitively online. He's Put the microphone core, down. Put the microphone down. We don't yeah. need any of that on this show. Jesus. He's Christ. nerdcore. No, I love it. We're cool, man. I we're bullies and we shove nerds, man. What the fuck, Giorgio? You're putting. You're putting. Goddamn gowns on uh and with baggy sleeves yeah he goes to zilker and larps zilker and, yeah god my god oh, how's I your gaming LARP? skills oh i suck oh you suck at yeah. games okay like oh that'll be fun first person shooter yeah I'm gonna, yeah I'm yeah, gonna yeah. Die. you're gonna die but that's right. what we got dan for we yeah got, which is good we got dan and jared to come in for the shooters yes yes i can yes, play yes. some fifa yeah you know, we'll, we'll get after it so we're good we'll, we'll be cranking that up soon um we're gonna talk to that set designer uh we're gonna get a whole set made for that um and you'll be able to play these guys and uh, we're going to build out a man cave in here where it's just games, sports, and, uh, you know, all the fun stuff, Jabes. You know, zinc oxide. Yeah, a little baby oil. There's no SPF in that fucking room because it's all tan, baby. Man we're getting cave. all tan. Yeah. Spread Eagle Jacks. I'll be on your show, guys, one time. Yeah, you want to be on? I won't play anything, but I'll just talk shit. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. You know what? Well, I'd say what? One night in there, we'll do like the Bachelorette or something, and then we'll go all in. In, right? twi in the Twitch? Why not? We'll no. do it. What? No, but that's where. So we're setting up the room as like a reaction room of like live shit or whatever. Like one night, we'll let you have your night, and then we'll do the Bachelorette. That hot black girl just joined the show. Is she on tonight? Yeah, dude. Uh, who is it? Taisha? Taisha. Taisha. She is ready to party, 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 yeah. party, party, party. That's the one they should have started with. Yeah, they should have, but she, they, had, they had already gone too far, and they wanted to give old gals a chance, and by the way, it will never, ever, ever happen again, because yeah. Yep, yep, we yep. ruin everything. Yeah, I don't okay? know. I don't We're know. Just, we, it's not cute anymore. There is, a per, there is a certain time when it's not cute anymore to be one girl with a bunch of fucking 26-year-olds at almost 40. Like, it's just not cute. Nobody wants to see it. Unless right. you're on a yacht. Unless you're on a yacht. Yeah, exactly. Right, but that's Giorgio and one other 65-year-old. That's different, and yes. there's no cameras. There's no cameras there. But uh, exact. Well, maybe later on, but uh, Tasha's who they should have started with. Absolutely. In my opinion, she's hot. I don't understand what the sitch was. How old is she? 32? Uh, yes. Yeah. 31, what? maybe. All right. Why do we need the 39-year-old on there at all? Because they wanted to, because us old broads like to say, like, well, she hey, it up. we're still cool. Give us a chance. I've been to therapy. I'm good. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm fine. <laughs> um, but the problem is we're not fine. Not we're fine. never fine. No. Past no. 38, you're not fine. No. Do you know what I mean? So, and she looks great. Looks great. That's the problem. They were like, all Camera right. ready. Yeah. She looks great. Her work looks awesome. Let's give her a chance. Maybe she will be cool. Yeah. Maybe a 39-year-old can be cool. Yeah. And she has proven. Nope. Not cool at all. That you aren't. If you're dating one and you see a lot of pink residue on desk or countertops in bathrooms, that is Adderall. 
that they are crushing up to get through their days. And that's not cool, man. You know? Right. But it's mixed with an antidepressant. And then that antidepressant Correct. isn't working anymore. So they give you a little bump up. And then you have the dog hair everywhere. Yeah. And, and you just described every female comedian past age 35 who's still single right now. Every single one of them. The only difference is they've got money. Yes. Uh, we um, had a, we had a, we got a guest on Drinking Bros today. Sean Avery's on today. Uh, NHL legend. Huge guest for the show this afternoon. And um, uh, with that, I was listening to a little bit of his podcast on the way over. Yeah. Um, he's got a new podcast. And um, he was talking about Chelsea Handler's huge, baggy, saggy tits that, that are out, you know? I thought they were done or she got them done again. Here's the thing, yeah. So when, once they get done, if you get them done at an early age, once yeah. you age, they drop. So like, yeah. I think she did get those maybe 15, 20 years ago and now they've dropped and it's just like, uh, all right, what are you doing here? Um, you know, if you're not throwing those around in someone's face at, at 25 when you should have to get married, like she's the woman we just described. Right. Is that why 50 Cent won't hit it anymore? No, she broke up with 50 Cent. 50 Cent would. Like, he was pining after her for... A long time. A while. He was actually brokenhearted yeah, over Chelsea yeah, yeah. Handler. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But that's that's exactly who it is. So, like, if you if you have these these favorite female comedians that you like and you're like, why are they still single? Um, that's why. I have no... I mean, I have no questions about it. But if you guys are worried... Guys do. at all. Yeah, uh, yeah, every guy guys, does. Yeah. Like, we get hit up all the time about it. Of like, what's what's the what's the deal with so-and-so? Like, I'll get that a lot in my inbox. Of like, hey, what's so-and-so's deal? Like, I like them or whatever. Uh, somebody asked me about Nikki Glaser the other day. Uh, sent me a thing. They were like, oh, man, she seems so hot and funny. I don't understand why she's single. And I was like, ah, she probably fits all those boxes that Jesse just said. Right? right. Now, look. Check. Chick, You're chick, a woman, chick, 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 37, 38, 39. Yeah. You've been through some shit, right? And you have to, and if you're not married and you don't have kids, you've been through some shit. Yeah. And yeah, if yeah. you're trying to fix that, you're either going to go to therapy, you're going to get some medication, you know, whatever, you're going to fill. Yeah. And it just, uh, you don't realize how crazy you're getting because you don't have a sounding board there. To show you right, 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 right. that you're spinning out of control, right? Whether yeah. it's, uh, your dogs are not ever going to be like, hey, like, I think maybe we've done too much therapy, right? The dogs are just going to be like, <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm just glad you kissed me on the mouth. Yeah, yeah. Um, so and that's what there's they do. Just no, there's no sounding board, right? And then their family's gone yep. or they're sick or whatever. And it's just like, you don't have anyone sane right. in your immediate life that cares about you enough to be like, Bro, calm down. We've all dated the girl who lets the dog's tongue inside their own mouth. Let's right. be honest. Like, oh, they come home and it's like kisses. And then you see the dog's tongue go yeah. inside their own mouth. And you're like, well, shit, we just got back to your place. And now th you, you did this. Right. And I got to think about where that fucking dog has been all goddamn day. Olivia um, Munn, I like to shatter your dreams about people sometimes. So you think <laughs> you think Olivia Munn I've, I've is this I've worked with her. Cool I've, I've worked with her. Yes. Sure. Well, but she's, that's, she's different now. Uh, yeah, well, she's I'm, I'm, older now. Correct. I'm, I'm gonna she's leave single the room. now. Correct. What? Correct. I need to leave the room. Don't yeah. ruin this. Yeah. I mean, say what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah. Hot as hell, right? Yes. Super hot. Yes. Very cool. C -c -c uh, oh, oh! What, what, what did you hear? Anyways, her on? I just heard her on a podcast. I think she's going a little bit crazy in COVID. I'm fine with it. Okay. Sign me up. Yeah. Sign me up um, right now. Every guy is fine. I'll with get it. in line as well. There you go. Yeah. I'll, I'll share with him. We'll be a timeshare. It'll be great. Uh, now <laughs> let let's uh, let's have Jesse describe the craziness here to everyone. Can I talk, guys, or what? <laughs> so, um, so she was on a podcast. She was a little bit crazy and kind of manic. And her dogs. She was on a Zoom, and she kept having to like feed her dogs and kiss her dogs and then her dog was just like snoring these little dogs everywhere right. snoring super loud yeah. and she talked about how they're like vegan and she needs to get them like special vegan food and sorry they have to eat every hour nope. like don't nope. care check please i'm out of there no I you am, don't care i Nobody do care cares, i do right? care i absolutely do care i'll tell you one from the past uh that i heard about i'll go back to one tree hill sophia bush I heard she had like 27 adopted dogs. I always, th I always thought she was hot. As soon as I heard that, I was like, nope, I'm out of there. I am out of there, bro-han. Uh, I dated a, a, a lady 
who was a little older than me, who was in her thirties like that. Mm -hmm. Same thing that the, the two dogs were super important right. and the kisses on the mouth and all that mm -hmm. other stuff. And I was like, Oh God, I, she had a different injury like every two days that was like kind of made up, but maybe not made up, but it was sure. just like one of those people who always want sympathy or plants or something, you know, it's like, right. uh, it's not real cast, but it's the shit you wear during bowling where you're like, Oh, oh is that to correct your grip or are my, you, my wrist went out again. Yes. It was an injury. I got uh, playing softball 30 years ago. It, exactly. That's what it is. Or it like flares I was, up when I, I was a cheerleader. Spin. Yeah, I, I used when to get I thrown. Spin. I was the one who got thrown in cheerleading, and mm -hmm. you know, and I hit the ground during homecoming or something. And you're just mm -hmm. like, I don't want to hear about that injury, and that's not real. Thirty years later, like, sure, you know, it's, it's not like you were in Cirque du Soleil where you were in the the motorcycle cage, you know, and then right. you, that spun out of control and you fucking blew out your shoulder and kneecap and all that shit. You were in a high school JV cheerleader and that's, you know, you got yeah. th thrown around a little bit. Like I used to work for Siegfried and Roy and like I got my, yes, you know what dude. I mean? Like fuck, fuck. broke my arm yeah. in, the, in the tiger's mouth. Like that would be like, okay. I'm sure I, I, sex with Josh Brolin in the early 2000s was rougher than that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. probably getting thrown against a fucking wall and choked out with a knife. Uh, let alone your little injury that you toppled off the other girl and fell on the the AstroTurf. I don't want to hear about that bullshit. I want some real shit. Sure. You know, I want some real injuries. Uh, I want to. I want a fucking baseball bat. I want to hear that you fell down. You know, eight flights of stairs when you went in, to see Lady Liberty, and right. you thought you would walk the whole way up instead of taking the elevator. That like, I want to hear an injury like that. Right. Not, not these other bullshit injuries. Sure. That's what we're dealing with on The Bachelorette. Mm -hmm. And uh, now that she's out of there, I feel bad for the hot one that's now coming in. Right. Because I don't. it seems like these guys aren't really going to be into her, and that's a shame. It's a goddamn shame is what it is. That's what they're teasing, but as we know, what they tease on The Bachelorette is not always what is. So yeah, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I liked how Chris Harrison, the host, uh, last time was like, sat Claire down and was just like, hey, Things aren't going well. And she was like, no, they're going fine. And he goes, don't you fuck with me. Yeah, he said, don't, don't you fuck with he me. He literally said, don't you fuck with me. Yes. And tell me the truth. No bullshit. Yes. He said these. They had to yeah. be beeped out. Yeah. No bullshit. Did you talk to him before the show? Because it was way too much. And she should have said, no, I'm 39. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? yeah. I, I just like the, the switch of Chris Harrison, though. That mental mm -hmm. where you're just like, oh, all right, cool, man. He's, he's beating a fucking girlfriend. Like right. he's, he's gave somebody a rap on the beak in the past before. As soon as he said, don't you fuck with me yeah. to a 39-year-old woman, you know for a fact that backhand has come out of the basement at sure. some point or another to give a little rap on the beak. Right. Um, but uh, I enjoyed that because I finally got a glimpse of that guy where I was like, ah, maybe he's not as gimpy as I thought he was. You no, know? he's not. I've always hated Chris Harrison. I thought he was a fucking snooze. That what? guy. Yeah. Like as far as my long-running game show hosts go i got uh, i got proby up at number one probst jeff probst okay because i guarantee you dude he was getting his dick sucked for granola bars he was isn't he with one of the yes. girls that was sucking his dick he for is granola now bars? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. that's so, just a proven yeah fact yeah but i i bet but the the gangster way that he treats that show on survivor is just like i'm sorry you look you lost or if, if you that the guy who was blowing on the fire <laughs> And they got the smoke in his mouth and just blacked out, went head first in the fire. Mm -hmm. You look over and pro Proby's just like, medic. Yeah, yeah. So fucking annoyed. Because you know it, it's, it'll fuck up his call time the next day. I would argue that Chris Harrison is the same way. Maybe. He, maybe. He's, I he's really starting to show. I think he is gangster. He, sh he showed his... me something. He showed me something. Right. Yeah. Uh, I saw the skin on his dick for the first time in that episode. Won't you fuck with me, Claire? You 39 year old. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Don't you, don't you. And it's that, it's that don't you, where you hold it in. Don't, don't you. Don't. You don't even open up your teeth. Like your sure. teeth don't come apart. Don't you. Sure. Fuck with me, Clint. And then, you know, it's that hard F that really sends them shuddering like that. Dan, what do you have to say about Chris Harrison? Yeah. Oh, he's a good dude. Right? Yeah. <sighs> you know him? Uh, I've met him. Have you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he fuck? Yeah, he just plays golf. He, yeah, he's just a just bro. A normal, yeah, just a normal dude. Yeah. He's a bro. Uh, did you see him hit a slice? I, I did not. Yeah, I bet she's, he kicked that out of the woods and said, don't you fuck with me. What um, are your thoughts on TJ Lavin from the challenge? Oh, he's been on the show numerous times. Okay. I, he's actually a very good friend of mine. Um, okay. TJ Lavin has been on Drinking Bros, for, man, 
Five he's times, great. six times, he's great. Uh, why do you do you know him in real life? No, but he. I just loved how disappointed he would be in contestants. That yes, didn't give their all. Here, here's here's why. A TJ Lavin at heart is a great dude who tries his ass off, and he's one of those dudes. Uh, we're talking about TJ Lavin, the host of the Challenge on MTV. He's one of those dudes who gives it his all every single day where it's just like, man, I'm grateful to be alive today. Mm. Taking that breath today. Aren't, isn't this awesome? Isn't the sunshine awesome? And life is beautiful. So and my relate, Yes. Most positive guy you will ever meet in your life. And uh, doesn't drink. Doesn't do any of the things. And uh, will talk to you about anything you want to talk about. He's that guy. So like I, I understand his whole shit, right? TJ's whole shit I, I get. Uh, there's some other people I, I've never gotten it. Um, fuck, man. Uh, if we're outing people, let's out some people. I don't give a shit. Um, who is the old UFC announcer? Goldberg. What's his fucking... Giorgio knows. Pop that shit out of his head. He's 45 seconds behind. <laughs> Clap in front of his face. No, he's not going to understand this. You're, you're literally going to have to pull him out of that. So what? Who is the old UFC announcer? Gold Goldberg. Goldberg? Uh, Bill... Uh, Bill, yeah, yeah, Bill. Bill, 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 yeah, sorry. Bill Goldberg, um, yeah. Every time I check the YouTube, you ask me something. Yeah, don't, don't do it. Uh, either way, uh, with that, like, that guy was a fucking nightmare to work with. Like, dude, trying to book him and all of his shit, like, was a fucking nightmare. Right. It's a goddamn uh, nightmare. Was he on Range 15? Yeah, yeah, he was on Range 15. Uh, it was mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. Difficult guy to work with. Yes. Um, but uh, it was great. Once he got on camera, he was great. Right. But, you know, the rest of the shit was just like, all right, cool. Give me a TJ Lavin any day. I think it was Mike Goldberg. That's Mike Goldberg. Bill Goldberg was the, uh, the wrestler. Come wrestler on. Yeah, I'm we sorry. have three Former fucking people Atlanta in Falcon, here. Yeah. I, we could have just made up names. We could have said it was Grimace. Gold who was the guy who hosted the UFC? Oh, it was actually Grimace uh, and the Hamburglar. They did it for years. Um, they were at, they were just out. One would steal cheeseburgers during the breaks, and then the other one would do the the play by play and mostly the color stuff. But uh, look, man. WCW had a big place in my heart. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. And I in the in the back of my thing, there's a bunch of people on the message board saying the Apple event started. Oh my god, oh, we're here. No. Uh, all right, so here here we go, kids. We're gonna we're, well, let's get into it. The Apple M1. Five nanometer process. Don't know what that means. 16 billion transistors. Radios? Uh, eight core CPU. Cunts, pussies. Upwards. Sure. Uh, eight core GPU. That is uh, a Google-A. Uh, there eight. must be a new Google machine in there. Uh, 16 core neutral engine. Oh, man. Is it, is it gonna be like a, a wing, wing, wing? They got a fucking motorcycle thing in that. World's fastest CPU core. World's best CPU performance per watt. World's fastest integrated graphics. Secure enclave. What the fuck is any of that? I don't know one single word of that. Basically, that means it's gonna run more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Gonna get better battery life, and it's not gonna get hot. Yeah, that, it, it, all that is is a bunch of fancy words that's saying we're lying to you to sell you shit that you probably don't need and that you already have. Uh, you know, and if you're not near uh, an electrical outlet, then uh, well, go fuck yourself. You know what I'm saying? But still, but with all that, it. with all that stuff, yeah. If you drop it. It will shatter into a million pieces because we can't quite figure that out. And there's one more thing. Uh, and I'm just looking at like all these excited fucking people on here where it's just, oh God, dude. I, I know, I know I say this every fucking two months, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah. Ruben sounds like a bunch of nerd talk to me. <laughs> yeah, it is. You just summed it up, Ruben. Rube, calm Appreciate down, it, Ruben. Ruben. Appreciate it. Hammer that like button on YouTube, by the way. We got some sponsors who pay for this sh shit wagon to be on the air, Jabes. Uh, first and foremost, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. So when you get that new computer, you can watch porn in your new ghost bed. If I, if I had the option, let's face it, I, you could buy like three ghost beds for the price of whatever this new computer is going to cost. Put three ghost beds down and just roll sideways like you're going down a slip and slide or something. Fun. That'd be a blast. Yeah. Probably better use of your money than the new Apple computer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so think about it. Uh, if you're a member of the military, I'm um, looking at you, Marines. Today's your day. 30% off. Uh, first responders, teachers, government workers. Uh, you can go ahead and do it right now. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. You get 30% off there. 
Um, Joe Biden's not going to be able to get one. He's currently not in the government yet. So well, don't try to use it, Joe. You're not in yet, buddy. And real clear politics still isn't called Pennsylvania for him, which is weird. I'm not going to go down a conspiracy rabbit hole at all with that fucking bullshit. If, if, it, if it gets there, it gets there. But that would be classic 2020. Just one more boop, 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 boop. Tap on the shoulder. Recount Pennsylvania. All of these ballots came from Mexico. <laughs> um, so who knows? We'll see. Uh, but the rest of us dummies get, uh, what, 30% off? Yeah, plus two free pillows. Two free pillows right Huge. now? Because yeah. it's uh, because we're getting into the holiday season. Yeah. Oh, so they're treating us as equals now with everybody else. They are. That's so but nice, But what they're letting bed. you know is even if you aren't like our listener or yeah, they always, always have 30% off. But okay. for Drinking Bros, they are also doing Civilian Dum Dum 30% off as well as... Um, the adjustable base, I think it's knocked off like three hundred dollars, which I, is huge. Yeah, I call my penis the adjustable base now. Do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Apple, the computer's got a new remote for your penis. Wink, wink. You don't need any more boner pills. You can just get it to go up. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Where as always, they got a thirty, uh, no, thirty six month uh, pay as you go program and no interest there at ghostbed.com uh, forward slash drinking bros. So do it. And then I look, listen, liquid IV is everywhere, and I'm just, I'm just drinking it right out of the box now. We'll just go liquid IV, you know? Let's do it. Broettes, what's the promo code? Broettes? Yeah, so the promo code is Broettes for 25% Should off. be revolution for 25% off, but it's whatever, be, man. But for now, it's Broettes, so give us a little bit of love. I'm drinking all the shit I do. But if you do. don't know about liquid I IV, I mean, obviously you should. I thought for a while it was a little, like, secret hangover cure that I had, right? No, and, like, no. all the moms in the neighborhood were using them. Yep. Turns out, pretty big company, and uh, it's not my little secret. Everybody knows about it now, but especially right now. Yeah. With everything, flu season coming up. <sighs> are we it doing has, that? Are we doing flu season? I'm all done with it. Now that COVID's here, flu season. What the fuck is flu season? Uh, you know? You're all done with it? I'm all done with flu season, too, man. Fuck that. If COVID's here, what am I worried about getting the flu for? I'm going to hide from that. I'm already wearing a, a goddamn face mask just to go into to get a bagel in the morning. Like I'm not. I have no time for flu season this year. That's right. so goddamn dumb. Because let's face it, if you get the flu, you're gonna think you have COVID. Right. You're gonna be like, oh shit, I, do, I have, do I have COVID? Nope, just the flu. Right. Uh, but still, don't go around any humans out in public because they're gonna think you have you have the Chinese AIDS. And uh, why are we not calling it the Chinese AIDS? I would like to call. I would like to call uh, COVID the Chinese AIDS. Um, that's what we're treating people like. Oh my gosh! Oh no! Oh, you, oh, look at you! We can't have unprotected sex. You have Chinese AIDS, don't you? Um, but flu season, I'm all yeah. I'm all done with that. I got a flu shot one time, Japes. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had the, the flu horrifically one time in my life. You know what it was? Mm -hmm. Two seconds after I got that flu shot. Well, that's what the flu vaccine does, but yeah. Why, why, if I'm going to get the flu anyways, I, I don't need you to inject it into me. Like, I'd rather catch it in a fun way. Well, I can explain it to you with COVID, right? So right. you can either get it uh -huh. and be immune, right? Yeah. Or you can get a small dose of it injected into you. Correct. Antibi okay. I want to get it the fun so, way. But, oh, okay. I want to get the flu the fun way. I want to get it in a foam pit in Ibiza. Yeah, I, I use the TH instead of the Z on that, like a fucking professional. Because you've Abitha. been there. Yeah, I, I've been there in spirit. I've been there in spirit. But if I'm going to get it, I want, I want the foam pit on. Okay. I want uh, Swedish House Mafia back on stage. Mm -hmm. um, and I want pure MDMA in my system. And then I wake up and I've got the flu. And I'm like, holy shit. Did I have bad drugs or did I just have the flu? Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, which was it? Uh, but that's how, that's how I want uh, the flu, but yeah, if anybody says to me, get to, you went your flu shot this year? Right. No, I don't. I don't want to wear a fucking mask in CVS anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, the flu season. Who's got time for that? Who's got right. time for the flu season or cold yeah. or a common cold anymore? We're all done with that. Right. Uh, it's COVID or nothing, baby. As as Biden said yesterday, it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long dark winter. Dark winter. It's going to be a dark winter. Thanks, old man. You've, yeah. got, you've already got one foot in the fucking grave. What do you give a shit for? It's not like you're doing anything fun this weekend. Why even say that, though? Who, who knows, man? 
That guy's never butt fucked in the rain. Now he's about to be our president. You know Trump has, for Christ's sakes. Mm-hmm. 80s. I bet you he was, he was uh, the judge at a wet t-shirt contest in Panama City. You know? Mm-hmm. Now we got this snoozy old man in there sniffing. So close to the White House, he could smell it. Uh, Biden, but uh, you know, no, I'm I'm not doing the flu season this year. Uh, I'm not doing any of those shots. I'm not doing any of the things. Uh, and I'm not, I'm, I'm going to ask you a serious question since this was posed to us. Um, somebody said yesterday on the news that it it could potentially be mandatory to give your kids COVID vax vaccinations to get to school. Mm-hmm. What do you do then? You do it. Really? Yeah. Is that weird though? I mean, there's so many other. Uh, vaccines that they have to have right I hate that it's like so soon Mm -hmm. I would hate for them to be like in December but I don't think they're gonna do that so it's gonna be like elderly people healthcare workers you know another round or whatever and then at the very last very least it will be like maybe next year Mm -hmm. for kids to have to take it Right. Uh, we'll see. Because that look, the the breaking news here is from the CDC today that that uh, they're asking people to have Thanksgiving outside. Mm-hmm. So they uh, they want everybody to give thanks outside, uh, exactly like the pilgrims did, for no longer than two hours, and put your mask up and down after bites. Bites, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, thanks, CDC. Uh, that's not going to happen one million goddamn years. Right. Um, I would rather. Go back to my 20s and date a girl in her late 30s who's licking her own dog's tongue and then stick my tongue in her mouth after that because this is the dumbest shit of all time. I mean, could you imagine? If I was at somebody's house and they told me to do that, I don't even think I'd eat, eat any of the food. I'd just pull my pants down at the table and pour a whole, the whole gravy boat down my fucking jeans and just be like, here we go. If, yeah. that, if that's what we're doing, if we're just doing nonsense today, yeah. we're just doing nonsense all day long, I might as well pour the entire gravy boat down my jeans I'll walk around. We'll watch football with that on all day. You know, Uh, I can't believe that. Actually, I didn't hear this. Um, So because NYC, New York City is back to being a hot spot is what they're saying is breaking news. Yes, man. I can't think of an event of what happened in New York City that would make it a hot spot. Fuck. I'm racking my brain, Jesse. Is there Mm -hmm. anything that happened over the weekend that made New York City a hot spot today? Shit. What is it? Ah, fuck. They, they, Joe Biden declared victory. Yep. Millions of people in the streets. Look at this. We're all celebrating. Isn't this amazing? Cuomo didn't say jack shit about that, did he? Not at all. Yeah, we're out in the streets. Bling, bling, bling. New York, baby. We're back. We're back. You're not back. You get a Democratic fucking mayor and governor that shut down your entire state. And now you're, you're going to be eating Thanksgiving outside in between bites with your mask on and everything else. But it was, it was okay for 3 million people to flood the fucking streets for Joe Biden's victory. And now, I wonder why it's a hot spot. Same but with those, after the riots. But those Jews better not get together. Yeah, yeah. If those Hasidic those Jews Hasidic get together. Those Hasidic Jews better not go into that synagogue. Man, what the fuck are we doing here? I, I can't figure it out. What are we doing? I don't know. When I read this news like this, I, like when I look at the, the news and the media, like I, I feel, I just feel fucking crazy inside. Like I feel like a crazy person where I'm like, is this, is this real? Are, are you having a hard time figuring out where that hotspot came from? I have 9 million videos. Go to Instagram. Look at any actor with a blue check mark. There's a fucking video of 80 million people in the streets of New York this weekend fucking raging their dicks off because Biden won. I, I don't know. That could be where the hot spot came from. Uh, or, or Jesse, it could have been from Trump. Trump Tower. I bet you that would, that's probably what they'll, they'll post that as. Somebody walked out of Trump Hotel and uh, they didn't have a mask on. I think it was that guy who, who caused it for the whole city. He's the one that ruined it. He's, this is a fucking joke, dude. Uh, eating outside. I like that element of it, you know? Yeah. If we're going to take it back, just say, just say this. Look. We're not so much concerned about the Chinese AIDS anymore. What we're concerned about is, is people getting back to their roots. Let's go old school with it. Let's have, let's have the table outside. Let's have the pilgrims and the Indians come in and eat together. You can dress up as one another, and then we can have a, a fun, flirty day of role play. And then afterwards, take that back to the old hacienda, you know, pilgrim and Indian, and then recreate your own fucking sexual fantasy after that, you know? That'd be a fun Thanksgiving. The Pilgrim and the Indian go to a 
Spanish hacienda. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff going on. It's in New York, though. I love it. It's in New York. You know, they're going to be in Spanish Harlem. I love it. Because that's one of the hotspots, by the way. So Harlem, yeah, is one of the hotspots and all this Spanish Harlem and all this. It's like, come on, man. We're not doing this. Nobody's doing that. Um, And they've got this whole list of rules, like uh, the duration of the gathering. Two hours, huh? Yeah. Two fucking hours, man. Two hours. We all have that relative too, is a, is a kid who just spent three hours at the dinner table. Not one prayer. Bob was his name. I'll give a shout out. I put, actually put him in this new book. As, as the sun rises, it dawns on him. Bob Hemphill, I wrote his name in there. Bob, he used to date my grandmother. My grandmother got divorced and bought this guy, uh, Bob. He was a plumber, great dude. Uh, he was a Marine. Um, uh, yeah, he's a Marine or a Navy, I forget. Whatever, either way. Great fucking dude, but uh, super out of it, man. Uh, and he would just, like, when he was on break or vacation, like, he settled in, and that was, you know, his break and vacation. I watched him just sit at a, at a Thanksgiving dinner table for three and a half hours one time and just enjoy his life, go back for thirds, like, everything. And it was like, I remember as a little kid asking my mom if we still had to sit at the table because it's been... I had I'd been done eating for two hours All at that right. point. Like, but Bob was Bob was making a meal of it, himself. and that's what Thanksgiving is. You should enjoy yourself. Yeah, I'm not even ripping on Bob. I love Bob. I don't know where he is. I don't even know if he's still alive. But what I know is this: Bob enjoyed his life because he worked hard every day, and God damn it, Bob deserved to enjoy every single second of Thanksgiving. If you wanted to sit there for three and a half hours and eat, let him sit there and eat. Now you're gonna say this: take bites in between your mask, and what like. Yeah. What are we doing? Might as well get a little CDC fairy out there, you know? Hire, hire Julia Roberts. Put her on a green screen. Dress her up as a little CDC fairy. Just bring in up and down with the mask and shit like that. <laughs> little CDC fairies here. You've already had so much stuffing. Do you really need any more? Or can you wait till tomorrow till the gathering's smaller and you can heat it up in your microwave inside your house so you don't leave and that no one can be exposed to the Chinese AIDS? Like that's what we should probably be doing with our money instead of the rest of this nonsense. Uh, I don't really understand it. I don't understand it at all, Jesse. Uh, and the hot spot, I can't. I still can't figure it out. Can't figure out where that came from. Um, there was a story that should be a crime corner, uh, but but is not perhaps. Um, do you mind if I just share it, just because I love it? Go ahead. I know the audience is going to be like, hey, man, this should, be a, should have been a crime corner, but uh, it just popped up. Um, a woman poses an FBI agent to get free Chick-fil-A. And that I love. I am all here for that. Do um, they give FBI agents? Here's, here's the thing. If you, I wish we had the picture. This, when, when we have that capability to pull up these pictures, this is what we need them for. This woman looks nothing like an FBI agent. She is. Are you looking? At, are you looking at her right now? She is late sixties, perhaps. Uh, a harebrained and ultimately unsuccessful attempt to score some free food. A Georgia woman, not Florida this time, posed as an FBI agent while demanding free Chick Fil A from workers. Uh, late Thursday morning. Why? Can you say late Thursday morning? It seems weird. Just say Thursday morning. Yeah. What, what time does morning end? 10.30? Right. What was it about? What, 10, 15, 10, 20? Like, what do we do? I, I end my mornings based on when McDonald's stopped serving breakfast when they used to, you know? Yeah. 10.30. 10.30. Yeah. 10.30 morning's over, dude. You're on the lunch at 11. Sure. Uh, so police received a suspicious person call from employees at the eatery in Rock Mart. I know Rock Mart. It's about 45 miles from Atlanta. Uh, the 911 caller. Somebody call 911. Just give her the fucking food. You yeah, snitch. Yeah, like... Come on. Is that really an issue? The suspect who was in a white van identifying themselves as a federal agent trying to get free food. Uh, when they arrived at Chick-fil-A around noon, come on, dude. That's way, that's not late morning. It's noon. Yeah. It's like shit. It's I'm noon. worried about the facts of this case. Same here, dude. This is on the smoking gun, too. It's not like a... Mm. I'm worried about the uh, investigation. They approached, yeah, they, so around noon, they, they approached a white Dodge Grand Caravan, uh, who's the, the driver's name. She was identified as Kimberly Ragsdale, 47. She looks like she's 68 years old, this woman. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Weathered? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the officer came up to her and said, 
uh, excuse me, have you been identifying yourself as a federal agent? And then she stated that she was a federal agent. Ah, uh, to um, the... Yeah, 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 wow. yeah. Wow. Uh, so the, they oh. asked to see her credentials, which is amazing. Sure. Here, here was her response, which bravo. Just give her the fucking free food. She said she didn't have that credential on her. She never badge on her because it was electronic. So. Uh, <laughs> like, I would believe that, right? I'd be like, oh, maybe... Maybe they are now. <laughs> or is she deep, deep undercover? Like, you could go all different ways. Yes, yes. So uh, the cop pulled out a taser and said, hey, man, you got to get the fuck out of the, the minivan. And, uh, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, cop. Uh, I don't know how much food she asked for here, but uh, after being handcuffed, she continued on. Miss Ragsdale then said she began to, to talk into her shirt. Like she was yelling into a radio, telling someone that they were arresting her uh, and to send someone from Rock Mart PD. So she kept it going. Um, look, man, I... You want to throw that picture up, Ross? I'm all in. Can you? Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, come yes. On now. Come Put on it up. Now. Put it up. Put her picture up. This is the... I, she is definitely not 45 years old or 47. Um, is it up on the screen now? <laughs> My God, man. Uh, that's too old for me. Even. It, it looks weird. It's not, though. Age-wise, that's young for you. Looks-wise, she's, she's super fucking if old. If she just said... Well, no. Yeah. Yeah, Jabes. No. Yep. What's that age? It's got to be no, coming no, from no. a woman. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Like, yeah. Let's say 60. Late 50s. Silly. Late 60s. Late 60s. But uh, she got arrested... I don't know, like, I mean, I guess it's impersonating a federal agent in police or something like that, but uh seems like it was all in good fun. Sure. You know? Yeah. I don't have a problem with it, really. Um, and I, again, give somebody, give her food. If she goes to all this trouble, if she's screaming into her shirt, mm -hmm. uh, I need backup down here. They're trying to arrest me, and I'm, I'm just a federal, I'm an FBI, I work for the Bureau, uh, I'm, I'm one of the men in black people right. and I need, I need my free Chick-fil-A. There's just send a backup PD down here. Give her the free fucking spicy chicken sandwich, dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? We don't need, we don't need this threaten her with a taser or whatever. Like yeah. just get, let her eat the sandwich and tell her to hop just on down the road. Use it as like a commercial for Chick-fil-A. Yeah. And like make your money back that way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so good that people are committing federal crimes <laughs> to get it, right? And just be like, you know what? I'm actually going to, that's a, got to be good chicken then. Yeah. Give her some waffle fries and some Chick-fil-A sauce, you know, let her dip them in there. Like we all know that. We all know you got to have that Chick-fil-A sauce. Have to. To, to. to dip those waffle fries in, you know? Um, but that story, what, what's the real crime there, you know? Yeah. We've talked about this all the time. That's a victimless crime. Totally. Who was the victim? Chick-fil-A? What would they yeah. have lost? $4.88? Oh. Sorry, they've given away free for less. Yes. Fuck. Every time they fuck up my order, which is rare, by the way. It's super yeah, we rare. have to say that. I yeah. will say that because yeah. they're one yeah. of the very best in the business. Absolutely. Um, but the two, two or three times that they have, they just say, you know what, sir? I apologize. Meal's on us. Right. And then you leave. Right. And you're like, holy shit, Chick-fil-A is the best. And I'll be back here tomorrow and the day after and the day after and the day after because yeah, I have it children. Yeah, seems like it would be easier for her to just say, hey, you gave me the wrong thing. Yeah. Yeah. But then no. Then to go through all of that. I know, huh? right? Right? Rented the van probably from Enterprise. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oof, that's a lot. I don't, by the looks of little. her, yeah, by the looks of her, I don't think so. Oh, you think that van's her daily driver? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think so at all. Um, <laughs> oh, you think that van's hers? Huh? Uh, yeah, okay. I think that's her daily driver. Okay. I think, I think that is definitely her daily driver there. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I we'll see. We'll see. And, and last but not least, the, the last thing I want to talk about was the Britney Spears thing is raging on with the conservatorship. Mm -hmm. Why are we still doing this? Doing what? She's fucking crazy. Britney Spears is fucking crazy. Right. She needs somebody to watch her money and all, mm -hmm. all of the things here. Mm -hmm. um, so, it just shouldn't be a story. They're trying to figure out who should be the conservator, right? Like yeah. there's no debate on whether she should have one or not. It's just who it's going to be. So not really sure why it's um, a story even. 
But I, I guess if the sister wants to take over, fine. You know, uh, Jamie Lynn. But let's face it, she's made some questionable decisions in the past on her own. So can we throw G's name into the mix? Who? No, I'm down. I'll do Papa it. Giorgio. Yeah, for no, sure. No, you're not her type, man. She likes fucking uh, Arabs. Uh, I mean, I can tan. She goes. Uh, she goes the Arab route, dude. Every single time. For it's her always, conservator. No, as as like boyfriend and manager and all. Remember the manager guy who got involved? What was his name? God damn Sam it. Sam something. Yes. Uh, Sam Lundy or Lufty or whatever the fuck it was. Remember how weird that guy was? Mm -hmm. He looked like Dracula, like a tan version of Dracula with the widow's peak and the whole shit. And you're just like, oh, what's with all these Armenians, dude? Uh, and the new boyfriend is kind of like the same where he's this jacked, fucking ripped uh, little fuck boy. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, he doesn't speak. I don't know what his voice sounds like. Nothing like it's just a bunch of those where you're like, man, what happened? You're Britney Spears. You got a 300, 400 million dollars stashed away like you're all good on that like usually you go overseas when you're poor like an instagram model or something like that and then you've got to fuck these armenians you don't have to you're britney spears for christ's sakes you can do whatever you want i guess she just likes uncut maybe maybe and that's a th is that a thing jesse do you guys talk about that on broettes about what uncut yes uncirked yes so that is that a thing is it a thing yeah uh yes it's a thing but women like it uh, not necessarily like it. It's just different. Why is it different? What's the, it's what's just the, more skin? What's the deal with being uncirked? Yeah, I understand. But what mm -hmm. does that do for you there? Um, it doesn't do anything for the girl really, but I guess it's more sensitive for the guy. And a lot of girls will be like, I've never been with. And I'm like, you may not know if you have or not, unless you've seen it like not erect in your face yeah 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 yeah, yeah. other than yeah. that you may have been like yeah this is a little bit weird yeah yeah you ever seen a guy uncirked like somebody you dated yeah well, what was that like it was interesting it, did it creep you out it didn't creep me out i just didn't know what to do yeah yeah there's a lot of it's kind of like uh it's the same but you don't think you're like what do i have to do something different right right you right don't. okay okay uh, it reminds me of those water fingers that you buy as a kid. Remember those green, like it's, it's like a balloon. You can stick a finger in each side and they kind of roll down each finger. Chinese, like, Chinese finger trash. Trash. No, dude, it's the no, water it's a water ones. weenie. Yeah, water weenies. So it's like a continuous yeah. I think it's balloon that, that if you ones. just push yeah. it, it keeps like going. Did you guys date for a while? Um, not that long. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I, cause I was, I was always curious if like that was a thing for girls. Um, I had a couple relatives who were uncirked. Yeah. And I was like, man, is that not weird for everybody else? Because it's weird to look at for me. Yeah. I mean, I would say it's probably weird. Okay. I don't want to make anybody feel bad. There's a lot of people that hey, man, are uncirked. I don't right? care if like, you're cirked or uncirked, right? Um, you know. I mean, that was question day one, though. It was. When I worked here, yeah. Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Whether you were or Yeah. What? Remember we asked Georgia if he was uncirked. He is. That's what the uh, Adam Sandler movie's about, right? Yes. Uncut Gems? Yes, Uncut Gems. Yeah. Is, that's about uh, circumcision. Blammo, blammo, blammo. Nailed it. Dodge um, Durango. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, look, I've, I've talked about my circumcision on the show before. It's a snow's cut mm -hmm. um, that I, I gave to myself. Um, right. It's when you, here's the thing. You got to do it in a climate that is conducive for it, but you take two rocks in a cooler climate, um, and then uh, you bang them shits together and then get in there and cut with two raw, sharp rocks. You know, you take that skin off and then you immediately grab a handful of snow and pack it in there. You got to get that on top. For the audio listeners, I'm going to give you that. You gotta pack it in there. It's a three pat. Make sure you get it on there, you know? Mm -hmm. Snow's cuts. Right. It's a nice snow's cut. Uh, and that's my, that's my circ, you know? Did that on my own. I wasn't necessarily happy with, with what the doctor had given me. So mm -hmm. I went back in and did it on my own. Right. It's about 28 or 29. Uh, that's when I really started to get into it. It's kind of an amateur hobby for me with circumcisions. But, uh, you know, I did a, a couple of my friends. I uh, <laughs> did various cuts for them, you know. Right. Uh, I did the Black Diamond uh, for a friend of mine. Oh, nice. That's yeah. a good one. As an African-American gentleman. And, nice. uh, yes, I gave him a Black Diamond cut. Sure. He was very, he was very happy with it. Yeah. Everybody has been very happy with my work. I will say this. I have not had one unsatisfied customer when have I'm circling people. Have um, you done a princess cut? Never done a princess mm -hmm. cut yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fingers crossed. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm yeah. hoping to get that done. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, 
Not a lot. Not a lot of people like it. Yeah. Because uh, it involves a car crash. It's a lady. It's called the lady die, by the way, for for those on the inside in the Cirque biz, right? You got to take a, a piece of metal from a car crash and really cut that off, you know? Got it. Nailed it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> God damn it, I'm on fire today, James. It's almost a shame to end the show at this point, you right? know? But we have to. We've got to move on with our lives. Because everybody's got to go out, get all their Thanksgiving items, and uh, eat it three days before in an undisclosed location, and then tell the government uh, where you are. Uh, just make sure you got your mask on and you're pulling it down for two seconds. And then uh, I'm going to hop on over to uh, Drinking Bros Sports. We're going to go live with that in about an hour here on YouTube. Subscribe to uh, the YouTube channel, Drinking Bros Podcast. That encompasses all of our shows. Ross Patterson Revolution, Drinking Bros Sports, Drinking Bros American Party, all of that nonsense. And then as always, go to iTunes, rate the show a five star and leave a review. It helps move us up the charts. We've got to get on these Apple events. And there's one more thing. That's the only way we can do it on iTunes. Uh, you got to be locked into their matrix and then live inside their fucking system forever. Jesse, I love you. Thank you. Couldn't be hotter today. Thank you. Are you sad that I'm cirked? Uh, no. Okay. Okay, no, no, cool. No. I, again. I just don't want to make anybody feel bad. No, don't worry about it. Look, there's, by saying there's what fetishes. I really, <laughs> by saying what I really think. Okay, great. James okay. will great. love you no matter what. Uh, yes, to all the listeners, yeah. Uh, look, if you're cirked, you're cirked, brother. If you're uncirked and, and you're looking for a guy who's who's relatively like you know inexpensive, I'll cirque you up, dude. <laughs> I'll cirque you up. I feel like cable guy, you know. Yeah. I'll cirque you up. <laughs> Fucking come on down, dude. Come on down to Austin, Texas. I'll give you the rattler. I'll give you a little rattlesnake skin on that, you know. So after I do that cirque. Take a little bit of dead rattlesnake skin and put that on there. That makes that little penis a little more potent. You know what I'm saying? Are you sad I don't have a dog that I open mouth kiss? No, dude. Are I we hate good. I, and I hated that relationship. We good. And what didn't last that long? I hated all those people. You blow them away, which is why I don't have any fucking problem with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I tell oh, you that all the time. Where you I'm have like, no problem with me? No, like you don't have to worry about me running the streets, trolling for fucking puss. Because mm, mm, mm. it's like, dude, you lived up to the hype, Japes, and you continue to do so. Thank you. But uh, there's a lot of these fucking street urchins I used to date where you're just like, Jesus Christ. If I could see them now, I bet you they're in a dumpster somewhere, you know? Right. I don't know. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're in a dumpster or not. I don't yeah, know if they may not people. be in a dumpster, but look. Could be lies. I don't, I, who knows? Uh, who knows? Again, uh, if you need cert, uh, come to my come to my Instagram page. Um, let me oh. see what you're working with. Blast me with a pic, and then I'll blast you with something that yeah, it's kind of a 3D model of what your cock could look like if I got a hold of it. Um, oh I need a little under my belt. So to to be a profesh, I need 180 hours worth of circumcision. Right now, I'm at 39. So I've uh, I need 141 more hours to get fully certified so that I am legal in the state of Texas, and I am no longer doing it in the back of a van in a parking lot. And we can do a ceremony for you here when you get certified. Yes. We can do a little cap and gown. Yes, cap and gown, and then we each take and a shot. And you know what the cap is going to look like. Yep. <laughs> Cap's going to look like your, your dick skin. Just a bit of foreskin on top of that. And I think Just we can get a Just a little rumple foam. foreskin. Uh, foam. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cut, yeah. Uh, I was letting the... I was, the my huh? yeah i was just sort of thinking what are we doing what are we doing so that's why i like looked back up like that so sorry i was i was letting you go with the rest of that because i was like jesse don't get involved don't make eye contact don't continue this conversation about the you're foreskin in. hat no even you're though in. you started it don't finish it yep so that's all that was you're in what we'll do is we'll give you a photo album with just one sleeve mm, right mm, and in that mm, sleeve mm. that's where we'll lay out your foreskin and then you can take that back home mm. and then show your kids this is the day that I was circumcised. Here's the real skin. Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, and to the CDC, I'm going to be like OJ Simpson on this one, who's looking for the real killer still. I'm going to look, I'm going to try to figure out why that hot spot is in New York City. I'm going to be on the lookout. I'm going to do some research and some studies. And uh, oh shit, Jabe's got me a fucking buck knife. <laughs> <laughs> let's end it on a That's little bit of the real deal dude this is my cirque knife now look at this she got me yeah. a fucking knife to celebrate the to book the... going number one last week yeah that's real i went to the country to a real like the yeah, real dude. deal this is 
Yeah. Yeah. If you're watching on YouTube right now, this is how I'm, I'm, I'm warming up for that Cirque, baby. Ross, don't you come I'm anywhere near me. Yeah. I'm all in. Giorgio. Giorgio's good. If you go to he's, Giorgio's OnlyFans, he'll let me circ him for $135. Just go to just gonna Giorgio. Wait for your I will not do that. What? It, I'm, I'm, I've got a real steady hand. I've got a real steady hand, Giorgio. Uh, come back tomorrow if you want. If not, you might never watch this show again. We love you. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Get cirked, everybody. Good. What? Be best. <laughs>